to second place, two shots behind Pei Yun Chin, and the overnight leader by four has this for par and a lip out, and Karen Shi is now two over today. It's been a bit of an up and down day for her. Dropped a couple of shots on the first and then has kind of fought her way back, but... Right, so this par four, as you mentioned, short and drivable, and Madeline Sagstrom did, and this is for Eagle. Madeline Saxstrom about to play on the Solheim Cup team for a third time has gone birdie eagle at nine and ten. She does have an uphill lie which will help her try to launch this as high as she can to get it to land as softly as possible on these firm green. Oh that was ideal Karen that's just where she wanted to land it. <laughs> you can see uh, Perrine Delacour who's <laughs> playing with Minji giving her the you know the thumbs up there. All right, so a second for Morgan Metro. Angela Stanford's there with that group. All right, so again, Minji Lee has a very short putt to tie Pei Yun Chen. How about the second for Pei Yun? Yeah, she has a 101 to this whole location, playing a little uphill. At the 10th, Nasa Hataoka for birdie. After some adjustment with her eyes over the ball, she's feeling more comfortable with these left to right putts. That very well could have fallen. All right, Minji to tie the lead. How about that second shot? This is Pei and Chen. Trying to scramble a par, so it's going to be a couple of uh, mistakes to end the front nine and a bit shaky coming uh, coming in here. Three bogeys in four holes. It's not easy to maintain a lead on the LPGA Tours. You can go at this flag stick tucked left over the bunker. I think Minji looks like she's playing towards the center of the green, trying to draw it in. Because if you go yeah, at the flag shot. stick, it's going to end up going over the green or into the bunker. Mary Jatanagarn was greenside in two here at the par 5 12th, but this for par. Boy, that really blunts her momentum. All right, Charlie, for par. It's so hum. I mean, she'd be a little disappointed because that's a hole that you feel like you have a great chance of making birdie, but she's still in good shape. Not much movement in this putt. Oh, she had the line. Right on, as you said, Kay, really wasn't moving much at all. Had a good look at it. Got the Asian Games coming up in a few weeks' time in China, and a lot of the players from various Asian countries playing on the LPGA Tour focused in on that. But you never can count her out. Her all-around game is so top-notch. Yeah, loves the fast green she was saying earlier in the week. You know, playing a little bit softer, not quite as firm, but all of a sudden it's like it's changed overnight. You've got really firm greens, firm and fast fairways. Everything's releasing, and the players aren't quite expecting it. All right, how about the second shot for Pei Yun Chen here at 10? slope in the bunker so that ball really released past the hole what might that do for her like the charlie hole here at the par 3 11th her second that's 60 percent of the field get it up and down from the bunkers up in this hole so far today and that should be another one that was a really good shot 
zoning in for birdie at 10. It's been a day of some nice comebacks. Peyun Chen opens with double. Charlie Hull with a triple. Ronin Yen with three straight bogey. Yeah, good up and down. Well, the good news is she's on an uphill lie. And she's going back into the wind. That was so much. Oh, what a play. That is from Peyun Chen. After conservative layup, 78 yards now for her third. Oh goodness, this this is too much. That was very unlike Minji to miss a, a short shot by that much. This would be money if she gets it up and down. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, that's well done. And, and it's, it's not easy to do, Kay, when you've got a downhill pup trying to be firm with it. Tied for third now is Nasa. Zhang for her par at 14. Just left the clutter face open. She didn't uh, close the door on that one. Or what do we call them now, Karen, since we aren't wearing actually metal spikes anymore? I don't know. <laughs> Indentations. Look. Let's go up to the par five, 15th. Tough fairway to hit because of the angle, so a lot of players are forced to lay up here. It's a long hole as well. The third shot for area. Gonna get one in close. Ooh, maybe even hold it. Wonderful shot, dancing around the hole, so it should be a birdie for area. Kind of pulled that one. Oh. Fortunate little release. Yeah, and it hopped close to that bunker. Minji back over to 12. And from off the green, a birdie putt for Charlie Hall. Yeah, well done. Keeps stacking up birdies and stays in contention. 15. Area for birdie. Oh, yeah. After that very nice approach. All right, so the par right up ahead for Charlie Hall. Just stay tied to third. Here's Morgan Matros third at the par five. 58 yards, expecting it to bounce. Mm. This is a strong six-footer. Yeah, well done. Good two-putt in the end. Good ladder of position off the tee. Takes power on a tough hole. Right, here is Pei Yun Chen for birdie to tie Minji again. That usually slows things down. Now Nasa. Yeah, yep. uh, you have 12 to the par five. say playing away from the flags went straight at it that was pretty impressive how would you guess her emotions are at this point began with a four shot lead one shot back now yeah, i think that angela she's going to be feeling okay this is a great haul here nasa on the tee at 14. she has a gap wedge in her hand a 50 degree wedge most of the players carry four of them ready now a little left to right breaking putt for birdie oh that scared the hole really easy for spectators to get around and even hop from the front nine to the back nine a little bit down the hill here Tom very delicate yeah, it is. it's quick said Charlie Hall. But if there was no way any of us would have predicted she'd walk off the screen with a bogey. I 
back into a tie for fifth now. Interesting reaction. She looked to her left, almost like contact surprised her. This could be really good. Oh, this could be great. It is great. 13. Pei Yun Chen, her third. Sitting down, there's grass is high around the ball, but she has a lot of green to work with, and just she didn't get that one very solidly. It's going to be uh, probably 15 feet for. All right at the 14th, Charlie Hall for another birdie. Well, there you go. Make it look easy. She's a club coming into this hole, and she has placed it perfectly pin high here. This ball's going to move left to right. She said, Angela, that was the key to her game. That was really well done. Tom, that's exactly what Ming she did. She hit a beautiful drawing tee shot, is now on the left hand side of the fairway. Gonna give it a rip with the three wood. Well, she hit that one pretty hard, just pulled it a little. 246 to the front. Is she gonna get there? Yes, I mean, she is. That's gonna creep on. Great two shots that. Really, really good for Minji Lee. And it sets up an eagle putt for the player at the top of the leaderboard. At the 16th, a long birdie putt for Madeline Sackstrom. Wow. From long range, Madeline Sackstrom. Birdie 16, she is suddenly in a tie for fourth. The next day, you're in the final group. The conditions are drastically different this week. And you have so much more on your mind because you haven't been in this position in a long time. That was a, a really well struck golf shot. One of the few that we've seen that's actually landed somewhat softly. Couple of good par saves, and it's to get to 14 under. Yeah, nice two putt. So Minji making that one look easy and getting to six under par for the day. Coming off that last birdie, this putt will move a little left to right with a little bit of speed. Yeah. We talked about that theme today, Karen. This is a what she needed to, you know, kind of bounce back. Good wedge. There you go. But that scorecard. Maybe a little too much there. You could hear say, whoa. 26 paces on, leaving the player's room to sort of one skip and have it stop. This from 81 yards. Really good opportunity here, Grant, from short range, uphill putt. Oh, she is oh. making it look easy. On a hard day, one of only three bogey-free rounds of the 80 who teed it up today. Charlie for par. Yep. Now up on the green at the 17th. Madeline Sachs from trying to save par. Yeah, that work well today. 72 yards, but the grass is growing with the ball, so it's it's not a bad lie at all. But it's going to be hot coming out of this. It's just going to be right where Charlie Hull was. Which... Well, it's been a terrific couple of months for Andrea Lee. She was well out of the top seven in U.S. Solheim Cup points until the 20th place finish at U.S. Women's Open. A couple of top tens and then did exactly what she had to do at the CPKC Women's Open. Okay, that's a good shot. 
good shot. I think the wind just yeah. got it a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, it was a good shot. She's just swinging so freely and confidently right now. Tom, she's been doing it slightly differently. She uh, has been thinking her way around the golf course. Really good course management for her. Hasn't been hitting so many drivers, keeping out of the fairway bunkers that come into play for her on a lot of the tee shots. Second shot at the 18th for Madeline Sackstrom. Good day today. I think she's been getting more and more popular back home in, in England as well. The, the more she's on tour, her fan base just keeps growing. And we saw that at the AIG Women's Open at Walter Heath when she was in contention. How many young girls were out following her groups? Tons of them out there all wanting to be just like Charlie. Now Chen for the par over at the path by 15th. Group 12 under. It was a brilliant shot from Madeline Sackstrom at the 18th. And this... But a round of 68. She's tied for fourth. Her fiance, Jack Clark, the caddy for Ludwig Aberg. We've seen with the slope on this green, the players can actually get the ball to stop. Back into a little bit of breeze. You can send it back to the flag. One of the best we've seen. Really interesting day for Pei Yun. Make another one? She did. <laughs> so Charlie Hull with three birdies in a five hole stretch. Ooh, that could have got away. Yeah, really good battle from Pei Yoon. Relatively easy putt, except for the length uphill, a little right to left. Wow. How about that round? 65 on a day in which the scoring average is almost a shot over par. Downwind and the home locations on the back of the screen. This is a really hard wedge from Charlie. Touched it well, didn't she? Mm -hmm. She's got away with it, and that was a poor shot. At 18, Yuka Sasso. Well, she only had 106 yards left. I'm pretty sure that drive just went about 360-some-odd yards. <laughs> He's going to be tricky, especially with the putter count. It is. Up a steep, steep slope, so you have to judge the speed. But then once it gets on the green, it's going to run away quickly. She did a really good wow. job there. Yeah. So impressive. Back to 17. Yeah, P and Chan from just off the green for Birdie. Would have seen what Morgan Matro's ball did. And she learned from that. That's her sixth birdie of the day, but it takes her back to level par for the round. So there's been some good and some bad today. Look at that scorecard for Pei and Chen. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, English golfers are really good at release and knowing what the ball is going to do in firm conditions so i think <laughs> that's an true. advantage right it absolutely is but especially when you can land it short of a green you kind of it's a familiar shot for you to to be able to play back in may jin young co came from behind to win it sasso for birdie at 18. four back for yuka tomorrow karen Here's Pei Yun Chen from behind the 18th. Pretty solid, actually, how she stuck to her game plan. Oh, it's a fifth birdie on the back nine. Yeah. 
That will keep her in the final group with Minji and Charlie Hall.